75,167 sold out in New Orleans. The story since day one is the authority does not want this man, Daniel Bryan, to be the face of WWE. In their mind, it just wouldn't be best for business, but the Yes Movement has forced the authority's hand. Will the WWE Universe be chanting Yes at the end of WrestleMania? The winner of this match will enter a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship later tonight. It's the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin, the COO, the game, Triple H versus the B-plus player, Daniel Bryan. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Uh, belly to flex. Harsh impact. I need to question with the way the authority has treated Daniel Bryan, what kind of example they think they're setting for young superstars who are trying to burst on the scene, perhaps even from NXT. The authority exemplifies leadership, Cole. It's hard for an ignoramus like yourself to understand the tough decisions they have to make, all in effort to do what's best for business. You call me an ignoramus. Oh, what an uppercut. Boy, my previous question still wasn't answered. What kind of example is the authority setting? I mean, a few weeks ago, they handcuffed Daniel Bryan and did irreparable damage to his shoulder. Name call me all you want, but there's no defense for that malicious behavior. The authority was only protecting Daniel Bryan from himself in the WWE Universe from an inevitable disappointment. Now, the fans have put Triple H in this difficult position, and quite frankly, I feel for the stress put on the game's shoulders. What's he going to do with it? I've been glancing over at Stephanie oh, McMahon throughout this match, and I'm nervous for Daniel Bryan. If there's anybody in this arena who wants to beat up Daniel Bryan more than Triple H, it's Stephanie. First of all, Saxton, keep your eyes off the game's wife. She's here in support of her husband. There is nothing wrong with that. They share a beautiful love, and Stephanie's just following through on their sacred wedding vows. You should be applauding their love. He's too quick for him there. Stephanie still at ringside with an evil look on her face, staring daggers at her husband's opponent, thinking about the time she slapped the handcuff Daniel Bryan. But no, Corey, sure, you're right. The only reason Stephanie is out here is for moral support. I call for defamation of character by you, Cole. You can't unjustly allude to Stephanie being out here for any other reason than in Triple H. You better stay right where he is. Slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Guys, did you ever wonder why this huge match is on first? You know who has the power to put this match on first here at WrestleMania? That's Triple H. He has plenty of time to rest before the big triple threat match. Of course, the winner of this match goes on to face Randy Orton and Batista later tonight for the WWE World Heavyweight title. The, game the yes lock is in. Oh, the ow. yes lock is in. Unreal. Beautiful technique. That one definitely hurt, Cole. Let me tell you, that can cause some serious injury. And I Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, the old European uppercut. Here he goes. Is he done? Looking at Triple H here, guys. He's the much larger of the two men, but Daniel Bryan's a great striker with his hands and feet. So one thing Triple H is going to have to adjust to is Bryan's quickness. And don't forget the advantage of the so-called six-man. That's the yes movement. But above all that is the fact that Daniel Bryan is in the ring weak. Triple H hasn't been in the ring in a long, long time. Cole, you mentioned Triple H's time away from the ring being a factor. 
Let me tell you, when you get to the level of Triple H, there is no such thing as ring rust. The Cerebral Assassins already marked the bullseye on Daniel Bryan, and that's Daniel's injured shoulder. Corey's talking about that same shoulder Triple H attempted to dismantle a couple of weeks ago when he pressed it between the post and a steel chair. Just part of the course when it comes to the authority style of corporal punishment. The one thing I worry about with Triple H in this match is his overconfidence. This is the game's 18th WrestleMania, and he's made us aware that he's put down a lot of superstars with more... Oh, man. Oh, right to the body. That hurt. The game getting absolutely punished right now. Corey brought up an interesting point of Triple H possibly being overconfident. On paper, this is certainly a mismatch. Triple H is tough and has a strength advantage. Uh, he is, but Daniel Bryan is tough and strong, too. But Daniel Bryan's strength doesn't come from lifting weights. It comes from his heart and all of these people. If Triple H truly thinks Daniel Bryan is just a B-plus player, then he's already underestimated him. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look out! Both of these men have so much to fight for tonight. Triple H looking to do what he believes is best for business and crush the yes movement. And Byron, Daniel Bryan has over 75,000 reasons sitting here tonight. Well, Daniel Bryan feels that he owes these people. It's all of these people that got him here. Tonight is the night for everyone that's been told they're not good enough, not strong enough, that they don't look the right way. This is their night. He's calling for it. If he sticks this, he is done. Incoming. Ooh, what impact. And the slam. Guys, imagine our WrestleMania main event if Triple H wins. We'll have an... That should do it right there. One. And a kick out. Very nice. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Oh, impactful slam. And again, guys, so much at stake here tonight for Daniel Bryan and Triple H. The winner will move on to a triple threat for the championship. With one good arm, here comes oh, Bryan. No. Buster by the game. Stopped in his tracks is Daniel Bryan. And Triple H looks poised to take over. And now he's looking for the pedigree to put Daniel Bryan away. Nowhere to go, pedigree. This Maybe one is over. Cover by Triple H to advance to oh, the championship match. And Daniel Bryan kicks out. Stephanie cannot believe what just happened. How did Bryan kick out of the pedigree? It's got to be Bryan's heart. It's Bryan's desire that continually carries him through. Triple H cannot believe what just happened. Daniel Bryan might not have anything left in the tank. There you see Stephanie shouting a few words of encouragement to her husband, the game, to finish the job. Everything the authority has tried to do to suppress the dreams and desires of Daniel Bryan. Stephanie perhaps reminded Triple H that Daniel Bryan is just a B-plus player. The authority for so many years trying to hold Daniel Bryan down and now an opportunity tonight to end Daniel Bryan's dream here at WrestleMania. When will Daniel Bryan realize that he is downright overmatched right now? It's not in Daniel Bryan's DNA, Corey. He doesn't accept failure. Triple H dragging him to the middle of the ring, looking once again to put Bryan away with a second pedigree. Uh, and Daniel Bryan oh, able to reverse no. it, bridges on the cover, and Triple H kicks oh. out. Triple H held on. And now once again, Triple H going for the pedigree on Bryan. Bryan trying to block it. Daniel Bryan showing signs of life. Oh! And another knee. Measured brutality from the cerebral assassin. 
much as we talk about the, the heart and the desire of Daniel Bryan, you cannot discount the incredible experience of the game, Triple H. The in-ring acumen of Triple H, second to none, as Daniel Bryan is about to find out once again. No! Bryan caught it! Daniel Bryan with an opening! Bryan has an opportunity! Daniel Bryan misses wildly! Triple H, though! Bryan lands on his feet, backs into the corner, oh, running knee! That is! Nowhere. The cover! Hook of the leg! He did it! Wow! If you guys listen to Stephanie, she would tell you this bad blood between Daniel Bryan and Triple winner, H began Daniel. with Occupy Raw. Yeah. But she conveniently forgets that Triple H cost Daniel Bryan the championship at SummerSlam. Daniel Bryan surely didn't forget SummerSlam, and Byron mentioned Raw a few weeks ago where the Yes Movement occupied the ring, a place the authority claim is their ring, their home. It was